And we got a treat right now, folks. We're going to jump over to our man, Fred Ernest. Fred is president and CEO of Vista Gold. It trades under the symbol VGZ in the NYSE American and under the TSX VGZ as well. Fred, welcome back to TFNN. It's great to speak with you this afternoon. It's good to speak with you. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure, man. I've listened to you talk to my dad many times. I'm sure the listeners are somewhat familiar if they've been out there. Um, for, the, for those that aren't familiar with Vista, real quick, Fred, could you just give them a little bit of a brief introduction of Vista and what you guys do? I know the Mount Todd Project in Australia, but for those out there, if you could just give them a little introduction, that'd be great. Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, we own the Mount Todd Gold Project. It's in the Northern Territory of Australia. It's one of the largest and most uh, well-advanced projects in Australia, 7 million ounces of proven and probable reserves. All of the permits, uh, major permits, are in place for development of the project. Uh, it's a great geographical location. The, the territory government is very supportive of mining. And uh, we, just, uh, we just completed in uh, December a, uh, a royalty to uh, wheat and precious metals to uh, help us uh, advance the project. And we're very excited about that. And that's a great segue. That's that's what I really wanted to touch on. Um, we Since we had you on last, that was December. If you could go over, Fred, that that deal you have with Wheat and Precious metal, um, Minerals, it's a, it's a royalty deal. And if you can talk about, I believe it's for $20 million, you guys already maybe have the first three, that, that's the timeline, maybe the first half of this year. Um, but in terms of what that capital is going to be used for, how you plan on using it, and, and what that's going to do for Vista Gold. Yeah, absolutely. As, as you indicated, it is a $20 million deal for a, a 1% royalty on the first 3.4 million ounces uh, to be produced from the project. Uh, we've received the first tranche, $3 million, as soon as the uh, Foreign Investment Review Board uh, approval is granted. We'll receive the next tranche, which is $7 million. And then on uh, the six month anniversary from announcing the deal, we'll get, uh, we'll get uh, the second uh, half or, the, or $10 million. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the obligations, you, you have to understand that uh, these royalty deals aren't free money. You can't just do whatever you want to with it. We proposed and, and Wheaton agreed uh, that part of the money would be used to uh, undertake a drilling program. I'm pleased to report that uh, the drill has been mobilized and uh, we'll have some announcements uh, later this month about the commencement of drilling. We're targeting an area at the north end of the deposit. Uh, the deposit is open to the north and uh, we're targeting uh, resources that are near the surface. So there'll be low stripping ratio uh, ounces uh, as, they, as they convert. This will help offset some of the uh, production profile irregularities in the, in the mine plant. Once this drilling is completed, we intend to undertake uh, technical studies, some confirmatory met testing, and uh, and uh, ultimately, uh, I believe it'll be a feasibility study. But uh, we're going to look at developing the project as a smaller project. This this will mean uh, much lower capex than the feasibility study that we completed two years ago, and uh, and make it much more attractive, and at the same time preserve a a production profile of 150 to 200 thousand ounces per year. So we're seeking with this money to. Uh, spend a, a little bit of it up front here to uh, increase the attractiveness of the project, make it easier for us to get a, a deal with a, with a partner, and ultimately to create value for us to shareholders. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I was, you know, getting ready for this interview, of course, and I was chatting with my dad um, and, very, you know, they own the Gold Report, folks. My dad, um, excuse me, they own Vista in the Gold Report right now. But Freddie was talking about me when this news came out, um, talking about, you know, using that, drilling the holes. Um, now, is that something that it, and I saw on some of that talking about like a de-risk to a certain degree, and is that something where you're you're dealing with a larger sample size of the data for the drill holes? Um, is is that the greatest part, or is it also that you're really localizing, you know, where some of those veins may be, um, and, and is that part of it where it takes out some of the risk as you have more data uh, in terms of what you're actually dealing with in terms of gold in the ground? Is that a, a fair? Is that a good way to look at it, or how do you look at that? I'd look at it a little different, Tommy. Uh, okay. The, uh, the work that we're going to be doing is uh, demonstrating some of the blue sky potential. There's okay. uh, there's right now that can't be classified as reserves within the northern area of the pit. They're inferred resources. We'll be infill drilling to uh, to define those. But as we uh, as we expand the resource, we demonstrate to potential partners that 
the risk of additional, uh, you know, the, the addition of additional ounces is is lower. That if you know, if we can drill six thousand meters and add a half a million ounces, that kind of paints a picture that you know, there's there's more ounces to be more ounces to be discovered. The the de-risking in part will come from the, the the work that we do with the technical studies to demonstrate a much lower um, front end capital for the project. You know, right now nice. raising money is the biggest risk for anybody. And uh, sure. by being able to demonstrate that a project can be built for, um, you know, a third of what the feasibility study uh, estimated and, and still produce, like I said, 150 to 200,000 ounces, that's elimination of a big risk. And it's pretty remarkable that this mine actually operated. Um, do you guys come in maybe in 2006? Is that correct? Um, but it was operating in like 1997. I believe that then it, that you had it, they had it going for another year. It's remarkable that gold was in you know 200 maybe 300 maybe 350 back at that time we're dealing with a number that's around 2000 and we've been up at some pretty lofty levels for multiple years now i mean that's got to be helpful to a certain degree but how does that happen where they at one point we're operating the mine where gold was at two to three hundred bucks it shut down now you're at two thousand um how does something like that happen pretty remarkable that they were even operating at that price level and now you guys have this asset with gold sitting at two thousand well, you know, I mean, we were in a different environment or uh, economic environment back then. Uh, sure. You know, many people were making good money at $400 an ounce. And today at $400 an ounce with the costs that we have, it'd be very, very difficult. Only a handful or so of mines could make, make money at the, that price. But, sure. you know, it still is. Uh, you know, it was, um, it was a time that was uh, challenging for the operation back then when the price dipped to, you know, below 300 as you pointed out. Today we have a gold price uh, right now around two thousand, but two thousand dollars is a great gold price for Mount Todd, and and we're very excited about that. About that. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable, and um, my personal opinion, I, I know I have my dad as well, but you know, gold has been consolidating for a while, man, and we might have some more room to the upside. Well, Fred, I appreciate the time as always, and congrats to you and the team on securing that deal with Wheaton precious uh, metals and we we look forward to more updates in the future as you guys come back with some of those um, data points that you guys are going to use some of that capital for so i appreciate it as always and we look forward to it fred very good thanks have a great day you as well folks check it out they trade under the symbol vgz vista gold as i said they own the, they own vista in the gold report right now um but yeah that was a big deal 20 million dollars royalty with wheaton they get one percent of the gross numbers on that uh as they come out and they're not a producer yet, but 1% of the gross number, they have 20 million and they're gonna be drilling some holes. Uh, and they have 3 million that they've secured so far. And so we'll see where they go from there. But pretty remarkable when you think about how that landscape has changed. Companies making money um, when gold at 400. Different story right now, but we got gold at 2000, folks. 2008, appreciate Fred coming on. Stay tuned, we got a uh, half hour left in the program. We got the S&Ps down by 42, NASDAQ 100 off by 163, Dow off by 193. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs> 